How's it going everyone? My name is Chips and this video is going to be a quick little building tutorial showing you how to build these glass railings in Ark Survival Evolved. For anyone who's new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough video with voiceover instructions so you can learn how to do this technique and then take it to your own builds. And since this video is just showing you how to do this technique, I'm not going to include a building material list as the number of materials you would need would vary depending on how big of a glass railing you're going to be creating. But anyways, with all of that said, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. Alright everyone, so real quick before we get started, you can see I've just gone ahead and built up sort of a model just to give you a visual representation of what we would be using this technique for on an actual build. So now to get started, we are going to come in here where I have this Adobe section, and in one of our corners, I'm going to place two high thatched door frames just like this. I'm then going to add a thatch door frame on top of each adobe wall going around the outside. I'm then going to come back over here to this corner and place a wooden ceiling on top of these thatch door frames. Then below that I'm going to get out a wooden pillar and place it hanging down like this. And then I'm going to get out one more pillar and you'll notice there are two heights that you can snap this. There's this lower snap point and this higher one. So you're going to want to rotate through the snap point until you get this higher one using whichever keyer button is appropriate for your system and place that. Go ahead and get out a wooden ceiling again and you'll notice there are two heights that you can snap this. There's the higher one and the lower one. We again want the higher snap point. Go ahead and get out another wooden pillar and you'll notice you have this snap point right here where the green of the pillar just barely sticks out of the top of that ceiling. Go ahead and place it and add another wooden ceiling on top of that pillar. Go ahead and do this one more time. Then once you have that done, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy this topmost wooden ceiling, as well as this top wooden pillar. Next, we're gonna come back in here and get out a wooden ceiling and we're going to connect that right here to that topmost wooden ceiling we just placed and just continue doing this across. Then we're gonna get out a wooden fence foundation and starting off right here on the side, we will place a wooden fence foundation on the ceiling. So you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system, but you want this one that's placing on the ceiling. Go ahead and do that across the front here as well. and then do that one more time here on this side. Once you have those fence foundations placed, we're gonna get out thatch door frames again, and we're gonna be looking for the snap point that is placing on that wooden fence foundation. Go ahead and add that on it, and place one more on top. We're gonna go ahead and do this on each of these fence foundations. All right, now I'm gonna come back in here and for my example, I'm gonna get out a metal ceiling because that's the material I want my final floor to be, but you can use anything that you want. And we're going to be attaching this metal ceiling to that first thatch door frame we placed right there. Go ahead and do this all the way across. Now we'll come to the side over here and get out a greenhouse wall. And we're gonna be snapping this greenhouse wall to that same snap point where we placed the thatch door frame on the wooden fence foundation and do this all the way around the build. You can then go ahead around and pick up or destroy the top thatch door frame. And now last, we're gonna come in here where we have these other thatched door frames and replace them with the material you have below. So for my example, I'll be using Adobe walls and just go ahead around and replace all of these. And of course, don't forget to go inside of your build and replace the ones we placed in here as well to kind of hide this little pillar here and make this area look nice and tight. All 
All right, everyone, that is gonna do it for this quick little video. I hope you enjoyed this technique and I hope it's something you're able to take away and use on your own builds. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave me some feedback in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, go check out some of my full building tutorials. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future ARC building tutorials, such as that modern home you can see in the background right now. Also, before we end the video, I wanna give a huge shout out to our first channel member. His name is Roche Lefebvre. I think, I'm sorry if I absolutely butchered your name, um, but I just wanted to give you a huge shout out and tell you thank you for being the first person to join the membership program and support the channel in that way. If you guys would like to check it out, you can hit the join button down below to get more information on the different levels. It's completely voluntary. I don't expect anyone to do it, but I just wanted to put that option out there if you guys would like to interact with the channel and support it in that way. But anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you all thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and have a great day.